confusing for the offensive line. They let Brandon Jenkins run free for a loss yardage play. Garcia looking back to the sideline to get the signals that are coming in. Third down, as we mentioned, they need the 16-yard line. Good protection out in the flat. Latimer loses the football. Picked up by Florida State on the far sideline. A block on the quarterback, and now he comes across field. And can he take it the distance? Kendall Smith finally stopped just inside the 30-yard line. And let's go back down the field. Latimer is down. Latimer is down at the 20-yard line following the hit. And it was Greg Reed who was the man who came up and really hit him with a very hard hit. Perfectly time hit. Watching it real time, not so sure that Reed did not duck his head and we didn't have helmet to helmet on a defenseless player. Well, Marcus is sitting up now. Let's take another look at the play. Well, Reed read this perfectly. This defense for Florida State knows oh, it's a great hit by Reed. That's just a wonderful, wonderful hit. He, he may have with hit, his shoulder. He may have hit the football with his head. He, well, do uh, you know the way he turned? Uh, completely from that view that when you watched it real time, it looked like it might have been illegal, but that was just perfectly timed, perfectly executed by Reed. I think we have another angle still of what happened. Yeah, it's right shoulder right, right on the ball. Uh, let's hope that.